Mitch McConnell wants you to be scared of getting rid of the filibuster. That's why he says it would be a progressive's nightmare. But it won't just be Mitch McConnell. A lot of Democrats, centrists are gonna say, no, 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 don't do that. I know like theoretically it would let us do something and that seems appealing. But in the future, then they'll take control and then they won't be bound by the filibuster either. Okay, I want you to think, cuz that might scare some reasonable people. I want you to think about what in reality would actually change under that system. The Republicans have been in charge a couple of times in the in the past two decades, generally after not winning elections, but we'll leave that for another time. And did they have trouble accomplishing their goals? What were their goals? <laughs> their goals are passing tax cuts, and they did it under Bush, and they did it under Trump with the filibuster existing. Sure did. They got their Supreme Court justices, and aside from that, what did it stop them from doing? Like they got tons of stuff done with executive orders. And regardless of the filibuster existing or not, that will continue. What other legislative goals did the filibuster stop them from pursuing? I don't know and you don't know because they don't appear to have any. And so if that continues and if someday Tucker Carlson's president and oh no, we got rid of the filibuster. I got news for what you, what they're gonna do. They're gonna pass big tax cuts and they were gonna do that anyway. Absolutely. So the situation we have right now, you need to understand because a lot of Democrats are gonna try to scare you, including Kristen Sinema and Joe Manchin are not doing this. The only difference will be for the opportunities for this, the left to accomplish something. The right has never been constrained from that. They get whatever they want with the filibuster. We need to get rid of it for us to have a chance. That is a quality. And so don't listen to Mitch McConnell try to scare you. Don't listen to the Dems try to scare you. This is the only way that America's problems are gonna be solved. And I also tell you, Rand Paul also illustrated, ironically, illustrated exactly what the next Senate will look like without us eliminating the filibuster. Because look at what happened with the impeachment trial, 55-45. They still lost. They still lost that, but it was a direct, it was a direct by majority vote, like the way it should be. And so they tabled that motion to make sure that to when they said, "Oh, it's going to be unconstitutional," when they ran up in the Capitol and tried to kill elected officials, that's the thing that they said it's unconstitutional to to, to not make the guy responsible for and not actually convict him for. So, what do you think? If we needed a sixty vote threshold for that, it would it would have gone on through him, and the impeachment would have been over. That's what's going to happen with everything Democrats try to put through. Everything. They can win 55, 45 all they want. It doesn't mean anything. In this one case, it meant something, but it still means nothing. The majority continues to win. It's it's insane. It's insane. So they give you an illustration of the way that they're gonna uh, the way that they're gonna govern, or the way they're gonna continue on in everything that gets that even gets put up. Yeah. It's yeah, we're in the minority, but we're enough we're we're enough of the minority to still not do anything. Yeah. The the only things that they want are stuff having to do with immigration that they do with executive orders. Uh, Let's see, demonizing the LGBTQ community, they do that with executive orders. Most of the stuff with national security, they do with executive orders. You have legislative goals if you can identify a problem and you want to fix it. They don't have those. The only one they've identified is that rich people don't have enough money yet, and they regularly try to fix that problem. That's yeah. it. And I know that it seems like we're simplifying things, and and maybe on the margins we are a little bit. But this is the story of American politics going back at least 40 years. They only have one goal, they always always accomplish it. The filibuster has never stopped it. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.